What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're talking about the potential of RV storage and why you should consider it. But first, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna be talking a lot about RV park investing, personal mindset, etc. so you don't wanna miss out on future videos. RV storage to me is a great opportunity. Good cash flow numbers, low expenses, low maintenance, easy to get started. I think for a storage spot, you're only gonna need maybe like one to two acres. My personal experience with an RV storage was that I had actually had an RV a couple years back and I left it at a storage spot and they were charging about $55 per month. And it wasn't anything special. It was just a pretty much like an acre or two. They had cleared everything. They put down some you know basic road, real basic. And my RV was actually parked in the grass and I was getting charged 55 bucks a month. And they probably had about, I would say like 100 RVs out there and they're charging $55 a month. That's $5,500 a month in monthly cash flow. That's pretty good. So I was thinking for my property, I'm like, man, this is a great idea for like a hybrid model. You could do a small RV park, maybe have like 15, 20 units, and then take an extra acre that you have on your property, clear it, put down some crushed granite, and start charging out you know, $50 a month for a spot. And you could probably fit, I would say, probably around like 65 to 70 RVs per acre when you do storage. So that's that's a pretty good amount. You don't have to put any electricity in, no septic, no trash, nothing. You just pretty much clear it, put down some road, and you can start renting those spots. Looks like to me, I haven't done an RV storage spot yet. I'm thinking about it. You could probably get one started if, besides the land for probably around like, I would say under 10K because when you think about it, all you really need to do is just clear the land Maybe get a stump stump grinder to take out those stumps if you have some trees, because you're just gonna need to cut those trees down. But you can just get a, a chainsaw and start cutting them down. Take those stumps out, cover everything up with some crushed granite material. And maybe if you wanted to put a fence, you could, but I, I think you could definitely get it done for under 10K, maybe even under 5K if you really pinch pennies. And then you could start renting those spots out for 50 bucks a month. And you could go with, a lower end RV storage where you're just, it's just a piece of land and you're charging 50, 70 bucks. Or you could do a higher end where you have kind of like a pavilion. Maybe you have a little storage unit as well. You could charge 300 or $400 a month. And that could also be a lucrative business as well. But I would say for this RV storage idea, you'd probably, I would say the best place to do these would probably be like in a tourist town maybe where you have snowbirds coming in and out. Maybe like a, near a major highway, like the Interstate 10 or, or something where you have a lot of traffic coming through, maybe next to a fast growing city or fast growing town, uh, right outside of it would probably be a good spot. But I've even seen just, you know, day to day towns going through, you know, middle America and these RV storage spots are pretty full. So it might even work in a typical blue collar town as well. Also outside of a national park would probably be a great place to do this. But I think there's a lot of opportunity in this. You could make great cash flow with very little maintenance and you know rvs are coming more and more popular and for a lot of people they're not living in their rv full time they usually leave it where they want to go so maybe if they want to maybe they have like a certain tourist town that they love going to maybe it's like a i don't know like a savannah georgia or like a branson missouri or something like that and they just leave their stuff there they pay like 50 100 bucks and then when they get there they they get into their rv and they could take it wherever so i think it's a great idea i think it's easy cash flow easy to get started i totally could see this happening in the future more and more so if you can if you have maybe like a piece of land and you could just carve out a little acre or two pave it with some easy material like some crushed granite and just start renting those spots out baby and i think it would work pretty well actually and also like i said before the hybrid model i feel like it's a great idea that way, because for me, like to me, I don't know if I'd want to bet 100% on this idea, like being my number one source of income, but I think it's a great little side business. So like I'd like to have like maybe an RV park with a little area for storage, especially like if you have something on your property that you're not using, why not turn it into some monthly cash flow? You could be very flexible with it. You can put it on already existing property that has something else on it. You can do, if you wanted to do it just on your own, just buy an acre, let's see even just do a deep dive real quick, right? So for instance, my property, I have 10 acres in Central Texas and I owner financed the property, so I got it for 619 a month. So I only pay $619 a month for my property. If I had just done RV storage, I would probably still do pretty well, here's why. So I have $619 a month, that's my monthly expense, right, for my land. If I took just maybe one acre, 
right? And I and I cleared that. I took out all the trees. I put down some crushed granite, and I put 70 RV storage spots out there, right? I would maybe I would think about maybe just doing like 80% occupancy, so I wouldn't bet on it being 100% occupied all the time. But I do maybe 80% occupancy. So if I had the potential for 70, but 80%, that's like 56 spots roughly, right? And I'm charging $50 a month. That would be $2,800 a month in monthly cash flow. No electricity put in, no septic, no water, nothing, none of that. Management's very simple. My lot payment's only $619 a month. So $2,800 minus 619, I'm still positive cash flow, $2,100. And if I wanted to take it even further, I could pay a property manager like two or $300 a month to check people in and to check people out and I'd still be making $1,800 a month in cash flow, hands off, like not even doing anything. And that only cost me six or 19 for the land payment, and then maybe like five to 10K to get everything cleared. I definitely see myself doing some RV storage in the future, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it's an awesome idea. Really low barrier to entry, kind of like the lower hanging fruit for you guys that want to do RV parks, but maybe it's a big hefty, capital investment and so this is really easy to get started uh, i think it's a great idea so leave your comments down below if you have any i'd like to talk to you guys if you want to speak to me via email i'm going to leave my email in the description it's mancino invest at gmail.com give this video a thumbs up if you got value out of it like i said before make sure to subscribe if you haven't i appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one